United States with Nation here with Corey DeRush, senior left fielder from Grand Junction, Colorado. Corey, appreciate you coming in for a few minutes. You're all, all nice and <laughs> looking all good here. You had a presentation, so yep. I appreciate you yeah, yeah. not coming in in scrubs, though, so that's good. <laughs> um, how's it going today? How's it going this week? All that stuff. It's good. Just trying to get through finals, you know, just trying yeah. to get, prepare for that and, uh, you know, finish the senior year off. Sure, so. definitely. Well, talk about your senior year. Um, you came last year um, out of, uh, I want to say... Antelope Valley. Yeah, Antelope Valley. Yeah. You guys have so many community colleges, I forget there. Mm -hmm. uh, but an out of Antelope Valley, um, last year hit well and such, but this year you're really coming on. So talk about the adjustments that maybe you've made or just seeing the ball better, whatever it is, um, hitting the ball very well here in your senior year. So talk about that and we'll go from there. Um, I mean, well, yeah. Coach, this year is kind of... Um, harped more on uh, the mental game sure. and, you know, the approach at the plate and um, really kind of have a plan when you go up to the right, plate. And I think right. that's kind of, I've tried to focus more on that sure. uh, this year and um, it's it's been helpful. Sure. Um, any individual plan that you're, I mean, when you talk about plan, what do you mean by that? I mean, are every, every at bat different or you're always trying to just... I mean, yeah, like... I mean, if it's a leadoff at bat or sure. depending on if runners are on, how right. many outs, right. um, different stuff like that. And definitely try to, I've tried more this year to, you know, hit the ball to the right side. Sure. Um, yeah. And, you know, hit that uh, right center gap and, right. you know, that gets runs around. So. Exactly. Definitely. Um, I assume extra work has been done in, mm -hmm. as well as that probably in, in the um, hitting cage as well. Um, have you outside of the coaches, um, you guys have a lot of seniors as, as usual, but is it that you guys have been able to feed off each other? Is there anybody been especially uh, um, helpful um, to you being able to hit the ball well, especially lately? Um, well, our um, assistant coach, Coach Bieber, okay. um, he's been helpful in, in the cages, um, especially off the tee, you know, giving advice and, um, you know, different um, – I guess, uh, ways of, you know, hitting the ball off the tee, sure. um, you know, uh, letting it get deep, you know, hit it to right. the right side, right. Sure. Um, stuff like that. So he's been helpful to me, uh, just, you know, giving me little tips here and there on, right. you know, swing mechanics. And sure, definitely. Very cool. Um, you guys have had the unfortunate unlucky streak this year, mm -hmm. a lot of one-run losses, um, including uh, Tuesday against Viterbo. But as I've mentioned many times, that just means you're in the games. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the positive side. That just means you're right there. Yeah. You just get that one hit, and all of a sudden, instead of all the losses, you've all all those wins. So obviously, you're right there, and something that you guys can can push forward um, in the future. But how are you guys trying to uh, work through that and and look into the future and say, all right, this is going to happen next time. Next time we're in a one run game. Hopefully we aren't. Hopefully mm -hmm. we can yeah. continue just beating teams well. But uh, how are you trying to to get over that? Maybe it's a mental block. Yeah, I mean, we just, like you said, we need to just continue to be positive about it. Right. I mean, because we are in those games, and right. uh, like you said, you know, the one-run losses. Um, I mean, we it seems like we're getting hits here and there, yeah. but we're not getting that timely hit sure. that we need right. with, you know, a runner in scoring position. Exactly. And right. We just need to, you know, get the timely mm -hmm. hits, and, you know, if we get those hits, then those runs will score, and, you know, things will turn around. And, right. But just be positive about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's definitely – you have to realize there's a lot of, you know, success, not a lot of success, but a lot of talent in that lineup. Um, you guys are hitting well over 300 as a team. I mean, obviously, you're getting people on. So mm -hmm. that, again, is not the issue. It's just getting that one timely hit. So, you know, it should, if you keep working at it, come along. And yeah. you, know, you can look and, and really you just got to get hot in the last few weeks mm -hmm. of the year anyhow to... Yeah. Um, to put yourself in the right position. But um, starting off this weekend against Mount Mercy, mm -hmm. have you guys started to already strategize for what you want to do against Mount Mercy, who is a, a team that's right now kind of struggling in, in conference play? Mm -hmm. so. um, well, what I know about them is um, they have a couple of good pitchers. Right. Um, so we definitely need to, you know, the hitters have to, you know, kind of be focused at the plate. And, sure. and um, you know, like I said, have an approach when you go up. And, right. Um, that's... Basically, all I know so far about them, not too much, sure. but um, yeah, just focus on the hitting side of it. I think. Yeah. I mean, our pitchers have done a pretty good job right. for us, um, so you know we need to help the pitchers out and get yeah. runs across. Exactly, sure. Um, 
you know, with respect to having so many leaders, I like to always ask the seniors this especially, what is your leadership quality that you bring to the, the table? Um, or, you know, are you a silent leader? Um, or do you lead by example? How do you try to, to help the younger players um, since this is your second go around? I mean, I, I would say I'm kind of more of a silent leader. I mean, sure. I don't say too much. Um, but when I do, it's, it's you know, I try to stay positive, right. um, you know, bring the team up, um, you know, get them going. Try to lead by example, you know, the sure. best I can, you know, doing my part and doing my job on the right. team. Um, right. And, I mean, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Sure, definitely. And, again, you guys have so many leaders, I'm, um, so many seniors and leaders that I'm, I'm sure everybody's got their own little role. Mm -hmm. to work with that yeah. so definitely well all right we talked about the baseball side always fun uh always nice to hear how you guys view what's going on mm -hmm. from the insider's uh perspective but um this stuff on my sheet is what i really like talking about getting okay. to find out all the things that make you guys tick so uh cory de rush what's your nickname i honestly don't really have don't a really nickname have uh no i've never really been called too much. I mean, my mom, she calls me Doty, um, yeah. but that's that's kind of just her thing. Um, right. Not really a team, you know. Sure, fan, sure. Okay. Um, talk about why you chose William Penn. Um, I heard about William Penn from Enrique Alvarado. He was here right. last year, mm -hmm. and he went to my junior college, right. um, yep. and he kind of told me about it, and got in uh, contact with Coach Laird, and yep. uh, everything went from there. Yeah, so. just uh, snowballed from there. Yeah. Uh, describe uh, Coach Laird in one word. Um, I mean, he's, you know, coached for, you know, 30 some years. So, I mean, probably experienced. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah. Well, both you and Josh came up with the same words. <laughs> so that's very, very interesting. Um, if you were a superhero, who would you be? Um, I don't know a particular superhero, um, but a superpower, I or guess. Superpower, um, yeah, sure. I'd, uh, always thought teleporting would be kind of cool to yeah. be in you know, a different place, you know, with a snap of a finger. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Um, people say you look like? Uh, <laughs> um, it doesn't I, have to be a famous person. It could just be a family member. Um, I mean, they say my brother and I look uh, a lot alike. Sure. Um, he's a couple years younger than me. Right. But, yeah. but you probably won't see it, right? It's one of those things. I know yeah, what people say about my brother, and I'm like, yeah. I don't really see it, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That's whatever. Uh, favorite food? I like almost anything. Sure. Um, I don't know. I'm not picky with food. I like to pretty much eat it all. I like to mix up different foods. So sure. I, I don't think I have a particular okay. favorite. Uh, what about favorite restaurant? Um, I love Olive Garden. Okay. Olive Garden, yeah, that's a that's a good one. I, yeah. I'm an Italian food fan. Definitely. So, there yeah. you go. Cool. Uh, favorite movie? Ooh, I like a bunch of movies. Uh, or maybe something that you just watched that you thought that was uh, a really good movie. Um, I like Ace Ventura. Those, okay. those uh, yeah. with uh, Jim Carrey. <laughs> sure. Yeah, those always make me laugh. I'm a yeah. Jim Carrey guy. So. There you go. <laughs> yeah. uh, favorite TV show? Um, Breaking Bad. Okay. I was a big fan of Breaking Bad. Yeah, I was yeah. sad that ended. <laughs> yeah, I, I got started on it just a little bit, and then I yeah. life progressed, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. couldn't <laughs> keep it. I was like, that's six seasons. I don't know if I can catch yeah, up to there. It's, so it's good. Yeah. Uh, currently listening to. Um. Uh, I listen to a lot. Um, I like Sam Smith. Okay. Um, he's good. Um, um, just a lot of guys. Probably Sam Smith mainly right now. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Uh, if you had a million dollars, what would you buy? Um, uh, probably a Lamborghini. Okay. It's always been my dream car. Yeah. So yeah, I'd probably go with Very one cool. of those. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, if you weren't playing baseball, what sport would you play? Uh, football. Okay. Yeah, I played football four years of high school, and okay. most of my life, too, is baseball, and is, sure. uh, I love football, too. Uh, what position? Wide receiver. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Um, do you have any eligibility after this year, or are you, are you graduating? Are you gonna um, I was going to say, you can play yeah, football next year. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I could. <laughs> right, you could. Um, um, but, yeah, I don't have, I mean, for baseball, I'm done eligible. Right, numbers, right. But... Um, but I don't know if you're sticking around, if you still have I am, semester yeah, I am, I'm bit. sticking around to finish up school, um... I've thought about maybe, you know, trying to do another so think sport. Think about it. So. We've had some, um, yeah. some football guys that come over to baseball the last yeah, couple of years. Yeah, I'm so. kind of thinking about it, but yeah, I know we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, well, I just put, uh, put it in Coach Hafner's mind there that you were, you're going to be coming down to, down to his office. So. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. You never know. <laughs> there you go. Uh, favorite sports hero? Um, probably Derek Jeter, probably. Okay. Yeah, just everything he's done, you know, has been successful and 
just how many years he's played two sure, seasons. Sure, definitely. A uh, person in history you'd most like to meet? Could be famous, could be a family member. Um, never met. Probably, uh, uh, probably Denzel Washington. Okay. Probably, yeah, he's a, an actor I like to yeah. watch, and he's just really interesting to me, so sure. yeah, it'd be cool to get to talk to him. Maybe. Sure. Um, okay, now you're put on the recruiting hat, you're coaching William Penn's baseball team. Um, how do you sell a kid on coming to William Penn? Um, you gotta you gotta look at the pack. Um, yeah. I mean, the pack is probably a big thing. Um, I mean, I know for me coming here, you know, seeing the pack and you know the indoor facilities, sure. it's really nice, especially you know in the winter. You know, right, you can't definitely. get outside too sure. much. Um, yep. Yeah. Pack. Okay. Um, and talk about uh, business management major. Uh, what do you plan on doing in the future with that major? Uh, my parents they've owned their own business uh, pretty much all my life so sure. that's kind of what I've grew up around right. and I've always thought you know maybe start my own business okay. or you know possibly taking over that business um, right. in the future. So. Cool, very cool. All right, Corey DeRush, thanks for sitting down for a few minutes. Best of luck this weekend at Mount Mercy. Hopefully you Thank guys you. can get another four and keep it rolling. So. Cool. All right, thanks. Thank you.